really what we're here to do is, is, is to talk about Michigan, right? We're not necessarily here to talk about the, the latest issue of the day being discussed inside the walls of the Capitol or about the politics of the day across our state, but we're really here to talk about our home, right? So, you know, today the, the, the work that we're all doing now, the conversations that we're having today, the, the relationships that we choose to, to build today with other organizations, with other folks who are out there, you know, fighting like hell like all of you uh, during these tough times is really going to have an impact on what the future of our state really looks like. So much of, of the work that's driven, that's coming from folks who are, who are here uh, in this room. And I know I don't need to tell people here how, how tough things are across our state right now, right? I know I don't have to tell folks here in this room that, you know, right now kids in so many of our communities across, across this state are struggling after we've had massive cuts to our education budget, right? We don't need to, to tell folks here in this room that our teachers, the ones who are, who are really putting capacity and, and, and teaching these kids who are our future, are, are under attack, right? We, people in this room, you know, understand that, that working families have been feeling the pressure over these few years, that our social safety net has, been, had, ha, has had chunks taken out of it uh, these past few years, and that, and that we've seen our voting rights, our women's rights, LGBT rights attacked. So there's a lot of work for us all to do today, right? There's, there's certainly a lot of work for everyone here to do. But I think, you know, one of the things that this shows is that it's, it's imperative that we're taking this opportunity to be working together, that all of us need to be fighting for the Michigan that we love, right? Not just, you know, for, for, for the one issue of the day that we may be really focused on right now, but really trying to build these bridges and really fight for the Michigan that we love, right? Because when I think about Michigan, the Michigan that I'm just immensely proud of to be a Michigander and to be a part of the state, it isn't, you know, thinking about uh, all of these things, all of these cuts, all of these attacks that we've seen over the past few years, right? But, you know, I'm, I'm proud that, that this is the state, right, where the working middle class was born, right? I'm proud that, that we have immense natural beauty in the state and our rivers and our lakes and our dunes and our forests. I'm incredibly proud that the people of this state have shown an unbreakable spirit. And so I just want to really quick hear from, hear from folks here, because I know when you think about Michigan, you're not thinking about all of the things that are happening in the capital right now. You're not thinking about all the noise that's happening in Lansing, right? So what is it that folks love about Michigan. I just want to hear from people, just shout out some of the things that, that you really love about this state. Great Lakes. Great Lakes. Detroit. 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 Community. Community. We're survivors. We're survivors. Bike trails. Bike trails, great. Exciting weather. Exciting weather. <laughs> <laughs> I heard universities. Sunset at the beach. Sunset at the beach. Right, so I mean, there's, there's an enormous amount of things for us to really be proud of in this state. There's, a, there's an enormous amount of things for us in this state that, that, that we need to, to defend, right? And, and in order for us to really do that, we have to be willing to come together. And that's really what, what today's about, right? It's about coming together. It's about us being here, hearing each other's struggles, hearing each other's ideas, uh, and seeing this as, as, you know, the work that we do not simply as, a, as, as ways to defend our particular issue, right? Not just how do I make sure that what I really care about is taken care of, but finding ways to build and strengthen a movement, right? Because in order for us to really have and protect this Michigan that we love, it's going to require us really, really coming together. And so I'm really happy to have a lot of great people here today sharing with us these strategies, sharing with us tools to help us really realize how to come together, right? And, and how uh, we are we're making sure that we're taking care of everyone, that we're working together, and that we truly are building a movement.